What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video unboxing and review. Today I am finally, 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 finally cocksucking, finally getting Bane Ultimate from Prime One Studios to finish my Dark Knight line. Now, most of you probably know this statue released August of last year. August. It's now March. March 6th to be exact. My retailer imported it via a boat about three months after release. The boat took 10 weeks, got stuck in customs for three months, apparently. And uh, this retailer advertised that a one third will cost $50 to ship. It cost $350 to ship this from one state away. Prime One Studios, 220 standard from China. So not only did I have to wait seven additional months, it was also more expensive than if I just ordered direct standard. Could have had this August last year, saved myself a hundred bucks. So yeah, uh, this retailer pisses me off. Terrible communication, accuses you. I'm not a fan at all. Unfortunately, I have a lot of pre-orders with him. So there's not really much I can do because he refuses to refund me. Although I was able to transfer my Big Chap pre-order to the Dilophosaurus because that's free shipping. Because uh, I knew Big Chap would be $350 to ship as well. And I ordered direct through Prime One, $200 economy shipping. I'll get it six months early. And it's supposed to be shipping in the next few weeks, I hear. So, yeah. Uh, my two cents, don't order through retailers. Do not. They have the worst communication, the worst customer service. They're not cheaper. Avoid retailers at all costs. I hate retailers. I never want to use a retailer again. Also, I just realized uh, I got this up the wrong freaking. Yeah. Yeah, I freaking hate retailers. I don't want to use a retailer ever again. This whole experience has really just made me not want to ever, ever use a retailer. Unfortunately, there are several statues that retailers are the only option, so you just have to deal with it. All right, so this is the Arm Wide's Bust. So because this is the ultimate, it does come with this additional box, which we'll just remove. Yeah, because there's two versions of this statue. This is the ultimate, which includes arms wide open pose. So you get this nice base here, like so. Looks great. And then vein arms open. Most likely I'll be displaying this because I don't have the ability to display this down low. I do love the arms open. Gosh dang it, he looks fantastic. Ugh, that is awesome. Boom. Check it out. Now, of course, I'll do my usual close-ups, uh, but he does look fantastic. Now we must unbox the what is technically the regular version of the statue. Now, there was instructions, but do you really need that for this simple statue? I don't think you really need instructions. So we're going to put him over here so we can do the main statue right here. I'm just happy I finally got this statue because for the longest time, I didn't think I'd ever get this. I thought I sort of just screwed out of my money. And I really hate filing claims, threatening retailers. You really don't have much options. Just 
this other box is very heavy, by the way. I'm assuming that it's the base that's the heaviest part. Yeah, just three pieces. All right, so here's the base. We got number 16 of 350. Now this is sold out everywhere. You cannot find this. There's someone that's trying to sell it on eBay for $3,000. Now, considering how limited this is, how popular Tom Hardy's Bane is and the Dark Knight trilogy, I do foresee this definitely holding its value and rising. You know, I see it probably flattening out at about $2,000 for this. Not three, that person's too greedy, but I, I see $2,000. Now, for me personally, I would never, ever, ever sell these. The Dark Knight Rises trilogy, Dark Knight trilogy, is in my opinion the second best trilogy ever made with Lord of the Rings being number one. So I've always wanted high-end collectibles. I've always wanted a big Bane statue, and I never was able to get one. Alright, so here's the body. It has a good hefty weight. does not feel like it's hollow by any means. It went in there nice and smooth see that you guys get to look at his his butt while i put the upper body in so we're going to start looking at the normal first before we throw on that ultimate version Looks freaking amazing. Good. Boom. There you go, folks. So, classic pose. Freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and reveal it here on the table before we put it over there on my actual. Uh, Dark Knight Rises line. We're going to put the bust down below with the life-size mask and the one-third up top right between Batman and Catwoman. So hold on, folks. Alrighty, folks. So let's check out Bane Ultimate. How to put away all those boxes. It's always such a hassle when it's the big boxes like that. Uh, but luckily Bane arrived. Uh, I haven't gotten a real good close look to see if there's any QC or issues, but I didn't see any initial damages uh, just assembling it. But let's check it out. So the base is very similar to the other bases. Uh, there's not a huge differences between the two. The only big ones are the snow is a little bit different and he's actually stepping back where the thing would be. So it's like a broken step. As you can see right here where the other ones is complete. Now, just like the other ones, it does have the Batman logo on the back, which I think is pretty cool. Let's check out the back part of Bane. Not much really to see here. You know, his legs, the pant creases look great. It's all fully sculpted, zero mixed media. The back part. Now you can see even like that spine, which looks really good. Back part of the mask. Obviously, the portrait is one of the most important things on this statue. You need to nail the mask look, the detail, and it definitely looks absolutely fantastic. The eyes look great. The mask looks very detailed. There's even fine texture work right there on the mask. So it looks extremely good. And then he's grasping this part of his vest. And that looks really clean, looks very well sculpted. Skin texture is fantastic. Love the vein work, the muscles. Not too buff, but really, really well done. I love the veins. They did an excellent job here on this skin texture veins. And the entire thing is just extreme texture. 
you know, it looks fantastic. You know, like this looks like it could be actually, goodness, that almost feels like real uh, parts. But I, I don't believe, I mean, you can move that a little bit. Maybe that is just real goodness, because it looks so real. Yeah, so his pose is a little bit different with others are just standing, you know, leg side to side where he's more like slightly walking, uh, which I like because it does fit the poses. You know, uh, th this pose was not from this actual scene per se. This is when he fought Batman for the first time in the sewers. Uh, you know, Batman saw him like this and then towards the middle of the fight, he did that pose where he's just like, bring it. You know, he's the one that could actually whoop Batman in a one-to-one -one fight. He broke the bat. I personally absolutely love The Dark Knight Rises. That movie is phenomenal. I know some people aren't as big a fan, but I personally love it. Now, these bases are good, not great. Uh, you know, I do like them, but they're not, you know, like, holy crap amazing. Uh, they all match, which I guess is nice, but I, I would prefer... I don't know, it, it's kind of unique, but you can't really have them changing too much because it's from that final fight scene where it was snowing, they were on the steps fighting. Such an epic scene, too. Now, I absolutely love the regular version. Him holding his vest looks fantastic. So, then we come to the Ultimate Edition bust. Now, the base obviously matches. Uh, it's more just stones. This one actually has some uh, rebar in it, which looks really well done. does have a little bat logo as well. Uh, this looks fantastic. It's quite big. Uh, it's definitely bigger than the Wonder Woman one-third scale bust. Uh, you know, Bane's a bigger character, obviously. But his base is bigger. He's bigger. You know, he, he's a big dude, obviously. He's quite much bigger than Wonder Woman, even though they're the same scale. Uh, this little base looks great, though, and it has quite good presence for a little bust. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Uh, first, I want to display this right there and see how it looks. I don't think that would even fit in the Maji case, to be honest. I'm going to try it uh, just so I can try to see if I can fit both. We'll check out that Ultimate version in a little bit. But so far, you know, I love this statue. It's freaking amazing. The details, top notch. The skin texture, the paint is freaking fantastic. I have no issues with it. I mean, they probably could have did something better with the general bases, uh, but... Overall, it's still absolutely freaking amazing. It's huge, 33 inches tall, as you can see, beast. So it definitely is very fitting of my collection, because I've always, always, always wanted a statue like this of Bane. Ever since I first started collecting, I loved Bane. I bought that little, like, 16-inch statue of him. Uh, I, I sold that, but it was the arms open pose. Uh, I don't even remember who made it, but I always wanted a bigger Bane statue. It's like, gosh dang it, I want, like, a one-fourth or... At that time, one-third wasn't popular yet, but I always wanted, like, a good one-fourth. And then I got into one-third, and Prime would made my dreams come true. And I've never seen this in person until now. When I went to Tokyo Comic-Con, it was just those two. But I saw this, and I was like, holy crap, Bane. Love Bane. So let's set him up, see how he looks now in the line. Cannot wait to see how this looks. Alrighty, so here is the look with him holding his vest in the trinity per se of that movie i went ahead and just moved queen down there because i want it to look sort of finished now i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty confident i'll be able to fit the queen joker mask in there although i could also just put it right there because i did sell and ship the half scale joker mask or joker bust now this does fit in there at a weird diagonal angle uh but it looks kind of weird so i don't know if i'd ever it seems like, for the most part, I'll have to display that up here, that one down there. But I do like the look of this. I think this is freaking amazing. Uh, I haven't tested that just yet. We're going to test that out. I might have to have it a little backwards to have his arms to the side of each of them. Or I might even need to consider doing Bane right there. To... So his arm goes behind, like, the Joker and just one behind Bat. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. But here it is absolutely fantastic now he is a tad taller than bats just like a few centimeters uh but he is the tallest uh he's actually the tallest of every statue in here he's 33 inches tall 
and he's the tallest and has the most presence. You know, look at him next to Joker and the others. He is the tallest and most presence. He's the thickest and girthiest. Uh, let's try it with the ultimate and review that part then. Alrighty, and actually it fits. If you have them all side by side, Bane in the middle, he does not actually hit them. Uh, because of Catwoman's arm, it uh, doesn't hit. And that, uh, it, there's actually plenty of space there. So I'm just going to keep it like this. It looks amazing. Uh, it has such presence with the arms wide open like that. Plus you're able to see more of the chest details. So very, very cool. Uh, absolutely freaking love it. And then here is the one-third bust next to the mask next to queen one-third although you know we'll move the queen to the left and do the joker mask so it looks the same and then a batman cowl there now i'm considering two options for the batman cowl queen said they're making one i want to see what it looks like and what the price is and then there's noble collection which you can get in stock for 400 bucks i feel like that's too expensive 400 uh the queen joker mask was only 200 so i'm wondering if the batman cowl will be 200 as well because if it is I'll do Queen, no, no brainer. But if it's like 600 and it doesn't look that much better, I'll just do Noble Collection. So I'm gonna wait on the Batman cow till we see Queen and I know the price. Otherwise, we're gonna, you know, we'll just wait that out. And then obviously, Prime One Joker Heath Ledger is gonna go right there. I got that on order. That's supposed to be shipping in August. Once I get that, the Joker mask and a Batman cow of some sort, I'll probably even do a battle ring underneath there. Uh, then it's 100% uh, done, unless a one-third Scarecrow or Raz al Ghul's made, then I'd sell that and put it right there. Otherwise, I absolutely freaking love that. But Bane looks freaking amazing, without a doubt. So let's look at the Ultimate Edition. Now, his face obviously looks pretty much the exact same. You can't really change that, although the eyes, I think, might be slightly different. Yeah, look at that. And then if we look at these eyes, these are slightly more open. Uh, these are slightly more like, squinted. So there is a slight difference. Yeah, you can even see like scars in the freaking head, both sides. Eyes look fantastic. You see those neck veins. Look at the chest detail. Where on the other one, he's gripping this. And so now it's just, you know, fully sculpted to that. This really gives you a great angle and look of the entire piece, though. And the hands, they look fantastic. All the veins, you know, it looks really well done. Now, this is made of translucent resin, which I am a fan of. You know, the pants are the same, but... It looks freaking amazing. Now, is it the best one? Hmm. Now, I freaking love that Batman. I love the pose options. I love everything about it. Bane is extremely good. Bane's def definitely better than Catwoman. I think it might just be tied with that Bats. And that Bats is one of my favorite one-thirds by Prime 1. Not the favorite, but, uh, you know, my favorite's Ash from Prime 1 in the one-third scale. But man, they killed it on this Bane. Low edition size and really good paint and sculpt. Turned out just like the Proto from what I you know, remember. Now, and this is on top of two separate D60 Magi cases. The, you know, it's basically the same size as that, uh, you know, 48 inch wide Stuva. I believe 48 inches. But you can see just how amazing this looks. So, yeah, I freaking love it. I'm so happy I finally have this in my collection. Uh, it, yeah, and the bases, there are some slight differences you can see. The snow, some of the cracks, they're not just uh, the exact same. They're probably the, the original step mold, and then they changed it for each one. You know, the steps, the broken steps. This has like that. Uh, but overall, overall rating, of course, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I freaking love it. Uh, it. I'm definitely very happy I finally got this in my collection. Uh, for the longest time, I really didn't think I was going to get it. But now, 
I can chill here in my theater chair and have that amazing view. And then that view as well. So yeah, and the way I did this as well is I have all three movie posters. Batman Begins with the 4K movies, the Joker, the Dark Knight Rises 4K, and then the Dark Knight Rises poster with the movie. So I feel like it's almost a near perfect display. Just need the Joker mask, Batman cowl, the Joker, and we're set. So yeah, 10 out of 10 piece for me. I know I'm the last person in the world to finally get this, but thank freaking goodness it's in the cave. Now we need to get Shazam in, who's also by that same retailer. He says it's on the way. So hopefully it's not delayed in customs or takes a million years because I'm really looking forward to getting Shazam right next to Flash. And then also Khaleesi, who's by that, uh, you know, retailer. We also have Prime 1 Goku, Prime 1 Vegeta, and the Dilophosaurus. And those are all my pre-orders. Oh, also Kratos in Atreus. Ugh. Uh, so, yeah, a lot. Uh, Bane, Bane and the Spinosaurus, or not the Spinosaurus. Bane and the Indoraptor were the first two I pre-ordered Prime 1 from him. They both took a long, long time to get. So hopefully the next ones will be quicker. Otherwise, you know, I'm doing direct from now on with Prime 1. I did the big chap. I'm doing Aloy. I got Jin Sakai. I'm doing direct for everything from now on with Prime 1. I'm not ordering through retailers. I want to get it quick. I'm sick of waiting. I'll pay extra if I have to. Where in this case, I paid extra to get, get it seven months later. Anyways, folks... Uh, thank you all for watching, like, comment, subscribe, have a great day.